Vancouver police officers and BC ambulance paramedics had their hands full on the night before Halloween in one of Vancouver's richest neighborhoods. The $33 million mansion owned by David Sadu, the Canadian Football League player who became a stock market player, was a venue for a Halloween party where there were oddly few masks to be seen. Vancouver police said they had to deal with a crowd of 200 people, while paramedics treated two people who were unconscious by booze or drugs. They were taken to hospital. BC Emergency Health Services said that around 1.30 a.m. on October 31st, five ambulances responded after multiple reports of overdoses. Three crews transported patients to hospital. Another ambulance was called to the mansion at 3.40 a.m. for a drunk patient. Nobody was arrested. David Sadu spent Halloween 2020 in a U.S. jail during a three-month sentence after pleading guilty to conspiracy to commit mail fraud. The University of British Columbia booster had paid more than $200,000 in bribes so that his sons Jordan and Dylan Sadu could attend prestigious California universities. David Sadu hung up the phone on a reporter who saw a comment about the party. Jordan Sadu later called to say that his father was not at home at the time. Jordan claimed responsibility for renting the property to Langley-based Soul Vodka. Jordan Sadu claimed the party was permitted by City Hall, but he did not show any proof. Soul Vodka co-founder Christian Bosa has not responded for comment. In 2020, David Sadu's name was removed from the Thunderbird Stadium sign at UBC, his Order of BC revoked, and he withdrew his name from the BC Sports Hall of Fame. Bob Mack and the Breaker.News, Vancouver.